Hi, Ron from Clarity. In this video, we're going to cover a little bit of DNN training. I want to give you just a very quick overview of the navigation and how to log in. So I'm just going to slash login in this particular case, and I'm logging into my DNN website. And I'm just going to walk you a little bit around just to kind of familiarize yourself with the UI. So the first thing you'll notice is this bar along the left hand side. This is actually called the persona bar. If I hover over the DNN logo, it'll tell me what version of DNN I'm on, the latest version that's out, my framework, the server where it's installed, a link to some DNN documentation. And then if I want to log out as administrator, I can log out here. The next three icons are one to edit the content. This is where we can go get pages and to recycle bin. The next one is to manage things and what kind of things we're normally managing here, users, roles, and assets. That's mostly it. Then we have our site settings. This is where we're usually going to come in and adjust things like uh, the header and the footer. Uh, deal with some SEO, maybe some multilingual stuff, uh, install extensions and see what extensions are installed. So that's typically how we would do that. The one down here at the bottom is to turn on editing for this page that I'm on right now. So I can navigate by clicking on a page. So if I wanted to go to this industries page and I wanted to edit this page, right, then I could come down here. I could click once which would enable editing. But if I make an edit and save, then the editing goes away or I can click a second time on the pencil, turns it blue and now it's in lock mode. So now if I come over to a module and you can see here's a module, if I hover over the module, go to edit the content, you can see here's the graphics that I uploaded and I can click on source and you can see I created four screenshots of client information and I can click on save. And when I exit out and it refreshes because I have the pencil, I can go back in and stay in edit mode, right? Normally, if I don't have the pencil lock, it would refresh and look like this. If I want to edit this page information, I can click on the pencil, which loads the edit bar at the bottom. This is how I would add modules. And then this is how I would get to page settings, which opens up the page that I'm on. And I can look at my SEO information, enable it, set any information about that. I can also get to this same view by going to content pages and it opens on the page that I'm on. But now I have a tree view of every page on the site. I can highlight another page I want to go to, hover over the ellipses, hit view and it'll automatically jump me to that page. So I can either navigate using the navigation, or if I don't have the page in navigation, but need to edit a page, then I have to go into the content pages and that's where I find it. So that's a quick walkthrough on the navigation of the persona bar and how to turn on the editing toolbar. Thanks for watching.